passions were high outside and inside, one big question was how would Carlos Rendo perform? Sheila Oliver is a known quantity, a former assembly speaker. Rendo is new to the state stage. He established early on that he is aggressive when we brought up the issue of sanctuary cities. The Murphy and Oliver ticket is the most anti-cop, anti-law enforcement ticket in the history of the state of New Jersey. This is a ticket that when asked if they would support a sanctuary state and, and uh, asked the question directly as to Jose Carranza, Mr. Murphy could have said, I will deport him immediately and I will prosecute him to the extent of the law. He didn't say that. He said he would have the backs of individuals like Jose Carranza. The question was about this ad the Republicans started airing last week, featuring one of the Newark schoolyard killers. The ad has been criticized by Democrats and editorial writers for exploiting an ethnic stereotype. It was a disgraceful, divisive, pit pitting one ethnic and cultural group against the other, and that is how the lieutenant Governor Gadano campaign has conducted itself in these past several weeks. Rendo is Latino, but doesn't mind the use of the Carranza image. This is not about ethnic uh, slurs or ethnic background. This is about a cold-blooded murderer that needs to be sent to justice. It's not ethnicity, it's murder. Oliver is running with Democrat Phil Murphy and shares his progressive views. Rendo is running with Kim Guadano and hammered last night at her theme of lowering taxes. Oliver maintained the 2% annual increase in property taxes under Christie and Guadano is too high. The average tax bill has escalated by 17%, as you cited. And the reason they have is because Governor Christie and Lieutenant Governor Guadano gutted school funding to districts all across this state to the tune of nine billion dollars. Guadano and I have a plan for property taxes, uh, and that plan will save taxpayers $800 on the average. Their plan is this, blank, zero. They have absolutely no plan to bring property tax relief to the residents of the state of New Jersey. Their plan is to fully fund the schools. Well, to fully fund the schools, as Mr. Murphy said, he wants to spend $9 billion in the school. That means everybody's tax in this room will go up. Rendo and Guadano say their plan will save the average homeowner $800. I say we've seen that movie before. Rendo was born in Cuba. He has been critical of a trip Oliver took to Cuba with nine other New Jersey legislators. They shouldn't have met with their Cuban counterparts, he said. This is a country that systematically executes its citizens without trial. This is a country that people lose their lives at the Caribbean Sea every day to come for freedom. This is a country that no, lo no more than two weeks ago conducted sonic attacks against our embassy personnel, causing permanent brain damage and loss of hearing. This is not a good country. It was when President Obama was moving towards normalization of relationship and our legislators from both houses often conduct international visits to countries in pursuit of developing economic and business opportunity. Afterwards, they assessed their performances. Are you feeling more confident after tonight? Absolutely. I love this stuff. I think I exposed for the people of New Jersey what a four-year term of Kim Gadana would be a, a continuation of the Christie agenda. Their bosses debate again tomorrow night. In Montclair, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.